Greetings, I'm Rob Chapman, and today I'm going to tell you the real reason that I now own two guitar companies. You probably all know that I'm a founder and co-owner of Chapman Guitars, but also now I am the co-owner of another guitar company, but this one is based in Tennessee in America. Many years back, I was introduced to a gentleman called Michael Campbell. He's a Scottish American. I immediately liked him because Michael um, owns a guitar pickup company called Guitar Marie Pickups. And Guitar Marie were recommended to Chapman, by actually by Rabia Massad, uh, to go into our British workshop series. And we took some prototypes, and actually Guitar Marie are in a few of the very first Chapman British workshop guitars. So I came to knew of Michael through Guitar Marie, and gradually sort of we became closer and friends and then at the NAMM show um, a few years back I met with him again again to talk about guitar Marie pickups and you know whether we could be involved that kind of thing and I really like the guy Michael is a special dude he works for the Navy in the USA he's technically a master of arms uh, master at arms. He teaches weaponry um, to a super high level. So he's got a really important, very busy job. He's also a father and he would get up very early, work on guitar Marie, go to work, um, protect the USA from UFOs and things. <laughs> and then he would come home, be a dad, and then he would work on Cerberus, which is the company, the guitar company that he founded. This is one of the first Cerberus guitars that was made. This this predates me. This is like pre-Chappers Cerberus. Look at this. Ugh. It's a stunning sort of dragon skin quilt top looking, you know, six. I think it came in a seven as well. Really nice stable neck. Hip shot bits. Obviously the pickups are guitarmery. I started advising and helping Michael just as a bro, just as a friend, because I really saw a guy with a huge creative streak, tons of energy, um, doing the best job that he could and making what I thought was really good product. Um, you know, highly educated, hardworking, top tier dude. And I, and I respect the amount of energy and work that Michael put into Cerberus and Guitar Marie. So I was helping him with advice almost every night. We would either talk on the phone or I would text and say, you know, don't do this, maybe try this. In my experience, this is a bad idea. Manufacturing here is a better idea. And Michael said, man, this is, you know, really helpful, really amazing. Thank you so much. It would just be so much better if you were part of this company. And long story short, um, he invited me to join Cerberus and Guitar Marie as a co-owner, which obviously is an incredible opportunity and I was immensely humbled and it means a lot to me. So some of the first things I did, as you probably notice, um, you, you'd be hard pressed to know what brand this guitar is unless you flip it over and look at the back where it, it's etched into the beautiful wooden control panel because it's not branded. <laughs> Michael is an amazing master at arms, a good guitar player and a good designer, but he, he didn't have established marketing chops. So there's no brand anywhere. You wouldn't know what it was unless you asked. And I, I sort of suggested that that was probably a mistake. <laughs> so, I mean, it's on the, you know, it's on the soft case. So one of the first things I did with Michael was I said, we should probably brand everything that we do so that people know what it is that we're selling. So since it was called Cerberus, um, I said we need a massive fluffy. It's super important to have a massive fluffy. So we got a three-headed Cerberus and we revisited the logo and kind of refined it and made it sort of represent more where we felt the brand was going together. This is the first guitar that we have made together. It's the Erebus 7 string. Um, it's beautiful. I mean, it's such a fit looking guitar. It really is. Built in Korea. Good Korea. As you can see, the neck is strengthened with multiple parts. 
It is branded all over, front and back. <laughs> As you can probably imagine, it comes with guitar marine humbuckers. This is an Atlas set. One volume, three weight toggle, really simplistic controls. Seven strings, uh, stainless steel frets, lumen lays, hip shot tuners, all the stuff that you have come to expect from me, probably. Um, although this was not collaboratively designed, I will definitely be asking all of you for your input on these guitars. After all, that is quite a me thing to do. And Michael is, is definitely open for your input. We are looking for artists. I'm looking for people who would like to represent a fledgling brand and help us to bring it forward in the market. We're really small. Cerberus is teeny, teeny, tiny. To date, we've only made 132 guitars, 30 of which are these new guitars. We've currently got, I think, 20 guitars going through our workshop, which is based in Texas. Um, we make small batches. Uh, we, we manufacture two or three times a year. That's it. We're right at the beginning of our journey. So this is, for me, it's exciting because I've been here before and learned a lot of mistakes and I'm excited to guide Cerberus through that and I want to bring some artists along with us and have them grow alongside the brand. So if you like the Bamba Cam, <laughs> if you're interested in playing stuff that might fit the super high-end metal precision of Cerberus, then you better let us know. We do offer an artist discount if you join the roster. Um, and I'm excited to see who joins up. If we have any guitars left by the time this video is finished. <laughs> you know. So uh, let me give you some tones from this Erebus 7. <clears throat> I will uh, just say it. Look, I'm not a seven string player. I love metal. I grew up on bands like Sixth, Meshuggah, Metallica, Megadeth, Sepultura. Um, Testament were huge with me. Alex Skolnick was is incredible. Um, so I really love that vibe, but I'm not very good at playing Gen or, you know, seven strings. But I'll give it my best shot. That's why I need artists. <laughs> So there you go, Cerberus Guitars is kind of, in a way, reborn, <laughs> rebranded, relaunched. Um, what does it mean for Chapman Guitars? Absolutely nothing. It doesn't make any difference at all. And I'm really excited. It's, uh, it's a whole new world. Like I said, we're looking for artists. If you think you'd like to join our ranks, please drop us a message on Instagram or any of our social media platforms. Again, this is the Erebus 7. I believe we have maybe 20 of these left when they're gone. They're gone. Take it easy. Chop us out.